Jessica. Thank you for joining me for another workout. Today we will be relaxing the body as well as focusing on a little bit of strength through our yoga poses. Go ahead, grab your chair, get into something comfortable. Make sure that you are subscribed and we'll get right on into it. We are all ready to go. Start here with those feet, nice firm planting on the floor. You really wanna feel a deep connection to the floor. We will be using the legs to give us a really solid foundation today. And on your next inhale, just grow this body tall. Engage those core muscles by pulling them in, giving them a light squeeze. It is not holding your breath. You still wanna be breathing comfortably. Relax the shoulders out of the ears and let those fingertips fall to the floor. Pick the chin up just a little bit. Nice, good, deep breath in here. And on the exhale, let that go. Keep your length, but let the body soften and relax. Inhale one more, find length. Exhale, soften and relax. Inhale, take those arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, drop the hands behind the neck. Stretch the backs of the arms. Inhale, reach them all the way over. And on the exhale, really pull those abs back. Let yourself fall forward. Big push of those feet into the floor here, giving you a nice little counter push. And then inhale, take it back up. Exhale, reach those arms back. Inhale, straighten them up. Exhale, fold it forward. Take a couple breaths here. Give yourself the opportunity to check in with the low back. Maybe it's a little tight today. Maybe you're having a good low back day, but really either way, give it the chance to stretch and relax here. Inhale, roll the body back up. Take those arms overhead and this time, Exhale, drop the right arm, reach that left arm all the way over. Inhale, arms come back up. Exhale, forward fold. You don't have to go really far. Inhale, roll the spine back up. Take the shoulders, neck, and head last. Inhale, arms come overhead. Exhale, drop the left arm. Reach the right arm over. Stay heavy in that right hip, getting a full lengthening through these side muscles. Inhale, take it back up. Very good, inhale, arms come up, turn those palms forward. Exhale, draw those shoulders down onto the spine, lift the chest. Exhale, drop those arms. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, pull into cactus arms here, squeeze those back muscles. Exhale to release. Let's keep going with those here, developing some very good back strength and opening up those chest muscles. Exhale, release. Keep going here with me at your own pace. Inhale to reach up. Exhale to pull back. Little squeeze there. And release. Very good. Few more. They should be getting nice and warm beautiful job last one here abs pulled in release roll the shoulders up and back good hit the whole circle here so all the way forward all the way up, all the way back, and all the way down. We tend to rush through this one and miss that nice lengthening on the way down there. Shoulders down towards the floor, neck and head nice and tall. Reach those fingertips for the floor. Turn the face to look over the right shoulder. Roll the chin down through the center and then left ear over to the left shoulder. Pick the head back up to the center. Make sure that you are drawing long through these shoulders and the neck. Go ahead, take 
the gaze over the left shoulder. Roll the chin down to the center and swing it gently over so that the right ear is over the right shoulder. Head comes back up to the middle. Interlace those fingers very lightly at the back of the head, right at the bottom of the skull where it meets the top of the neck and push the head back up and in towards the hands. Hands are offering nothing but weight, so no pushing in on the neck. Good, strengthening these muscles here. Fixing a little bit of posture. Open those elbows without pushing on the neck, on the head. Inhale, reach those arms all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Beautiful job here. Inhale, roll it all the way up. And let's go ahead and step the right leg out to the side, left leg. Try to keep it here to the center. So if you need to swing the right leg in a little bit more, find a comfortable base, whatever works for you. Inhale, take those arms all the way up. Push your left hip down as you exhale, take it over, push with the right foot. Inhale, bring that body back up, hold those abs in. Exhale to reach. Inhale to lift. This is very, very good work here in the obliques and the abs. You're gonna feel this one a little bit. Exhale, if it's too tough, you bring those arms here to the center. Make sure that you are using these core muscles here. Exhale. Inhale, push it back up. This time, exhale, let that right arm fall to the thigh. Stretch and open this left arm up. Find a nice spiraling of the chest open towards the ceiling rather than the floor. And then inhale, draw that all the way up. Cross this right leg over the left. It's okay if it doesn't sit flat. Inhale, sit nice and tall. Exhale, gentle twist here to the right. Get this right hand and then exhale, reach off the body. Inhale, pull back to an easy twist. Exhale, reach, feeling those abs work here. Inhale and exhale. Very good. You can reverse the breathing pattern if that works better for you. Some people prefer exhaling on the twisting motions. One more time, pull it here. Exhale, reach it off, open those back muscles. Inhale, draw it back up. Exhale, release the right arm. Take that twist here. Inhale, both arms come back up to the center. Exhale, forward fold here. Left foot pushes into the ground, giving you a little more resistance here, making sure that we are not real top heavy in the chair. You may feel a stretch here on the outer portion of the right leg. If it's too intense, you can gently uncross, maybe cross at the ankles or take the right foot back to the floor completely. Inhale. Roll that spine back up, step the right leg off, and let's take a few ankle circles here, one direction, and then the other. Good stretch for the whole body today. We're not rushing through anything. We wanna take our time and be patient. Ease that down. Step the left leg out as far as you can get it comfortably while keeping this right knee in front of the right hip. Inhale, take those arms all the way up, stretch it tall. Exhale, push that right hip down into the chair as far as you can go while feeling like you are still in control. Inhale, lift. Exhale to lengthen. If you need less work, you pull those arms closer to the body or maybe just one arm at a time. Find a modification that works for you if you need it. With your own pace of breath here. Very good. Inhale, bring that back up. Exhale, drop the left arm, reach this right arm over and again, 
try to find a spiraling, opening the chest to the ceiling or to the sky, reaching this left hand up and out. So we're not going towards the floor, really long through the whole body. Remember to keep those abs pulled in. Inhale, bring it up, open that arm out, step this left leg up and over the right leg. Beautiful job there. Right hand will cross over that thigh and we'll just move this left arm back. Good deep breath in. Exhale to twist. Inhale through to the center. Exhale to reach open those back muscles. Inhale tall. Good gentle twist there. Exhale reach. You can let the body fall forward a little bit as long as you are engaging through the core to protect that low back. Good, think about this left arm reaching out while those abs hit a little bit of a crunch here. It's the same thing as doing crunches on the floor. We're just in a chair, controlling and limiting a little bit more movement through the back. Very good. Bring it back, drop that left arm. Inhale to come really tall, exhale, twist here, holding those abs in. Again, you are not holding your breath. Shoulders relaxed out of the ear, spine nice and tall. Inhale, draw those arms all the way up. Exhale, forward fold here. Push that right foot as if you're pushing your body up and off of the floor. Good. Opposing actions here. The body, the upper body is relaxing, falling towards the floor. Meanwhile, your right foot is pushing the floor away. Nice release here for the low back. Beautiful job here. Inhale, roll it on up. Take those feet a little bit wider. And if you need to feel a good connection of those feet into the floor, we want to scoot forward the hips just a little bit in the chair. We don't want the knees buckling in. We want to keep them out overneath the ankles. Inhale, take those arms all the way up. Exhale, drop the right arm. Find length with this left arm and let this right arm just gently fall towards the floor. Hopefully finding a nice stacking of joints here. The right arm is pushing against the right leg. The right leg is pushing back in, so there is no movement. Knee is still over the ankle. Take this hand, reach it over, just touch it to the back of the neck. Inhale, draw it all the way back up. Right arm comes back up with it. Reach all the way up, exhale. Cactus arms here, squeeze those back muscles. Inhale, reach it up, palms face forward. Exhale, push the tops of the hands towards the wall behind you. Feel those upper back muscles working. Open those hands on up, reach the fingertips out. Inhale, take it back up. Exhale, let this left arm drop. Right arm stays up to the side. Same rules apply here. Using this left arm to push against the left leg to get this nice opening through the body. But the left leg gently pushes back in. Hug those abs in here. Beautiful job. Draw this right arm back down. Take those forearms to the thighs. Use those feet, dig into the floor, scoot those hips back. Walk the feet back with you. Nice, good, deep breath in. Pull the shoulders and chest up, spine tall. Exhale, use those forearms, interlace those fingers to push away, hug those abs in. Inhale, lengthen, turn those hands over. Open the chest, shoulders out of the ears. Exhale, push and lengthen away. This time, drop those heels, inhale. Take those arms all the way up and over. If it feels good to have those fingers 
interlaced here, you can leave them, you can undo them if it's a little tight. Good deep breath in, exhale to the right, left hip pushes into the chair, inhale back to the center, exhale to the left, right hip stays very heavy in the chair, inhale, open it back up, wrist circles all the way down here, nice and slow, let those shoulders work, push the pinky side of the palm to the wall behind you. While you work, make sure you're not pushing the stomach forward. Keep it pulled in. Very gentle here. Amazing job. Release it very slow. Let a little bit of strength build through those shoulders. Very good. Flex those fingertips all the way up. Bottom part of the palm and the wrist eases down towards the floor. Push those fingertips down. Lift from the wrist. Exhale down. Inhale, bring it back up. Amazing. Drop those arms down. Nice and easy. Inhale, take them all the way up. Exhale, open here, five-pointed star. Stretch those toes out. Inhale, draw them in. Exhale, stretch the toes out. Drop those arms parallel to the ground. Inhale, return. Exhale here. Inhale, return. Push those hips to the back of the chair. Press those feet into the floor. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold here. We'll take this right hand over to the left leg. I have my left hand on top of the thigh, just gently going to pull my body here to the left, opening the back. Release it back to the center. Hands to opposite elbows or wrists, just finding a nice heaviness in the body. Take it over to the right side with the left hand. Good deep breath in. Exhale, gentle twist here. And then inhale back to the center, bring the body up. On the exhale, dip that right shoulder down and just look over the left. Nice stretch here in the front of the shoulder. It should be mild, it should not hurt. Exhale. Inhale to the center one more time. Exhale here. Inhale to the center, exhale. Dip that left shoulder, beautiful job. I'm gonna turn to the side just so you guys can see what I have going. You can stay where you are if that works for you. Interlace those fingers behind you or you can grab the bottom of the chair. We're gonna inhale, reach those fingertips on down, stretch this chest up and open. Lift the chin just a little bit. If you were in the chair and you found that movement and you do not have enough of a stretch here through the front of the shoulders, you can follow along with me. I'll take you towards a deeper stretch here. Hug those abs in, press those feet into the floor. Exhale, just let the stomach fall towards the thighs. Push those feet into the floor. Lift the hands just a touch and then bring it on up release those hands bring yourself out of the chair nice and easy we have just a few more poses here i'm going to turn to the side so you can see what i've got going come on to the back of your chair walk those hips away feel those arms lengthen out soft bend in the knees hugging those abs up and in let the neck and the shoulders fall in between those arms. You can wiggle the hips side to side. You can shimmy the shoulders, whatever feels good here. You can just hang out here in the body. You wanna make sure you're not pulling really hard on the chair, but there is a little bit of extra resistance you can get to deepen the stretch through those back muscles. 
Very good. Bring it on up, step it in about halfway. Go ahead, take the right leg behind the left. Left hand reaches out to the side, ease it back. Bigger stretch here on this left side. Everything is nice and relaxed. The only thing working are those abs holding up and in. Feet are working to keep a little balance here for you. Very good, step that right foot out. Take this left foot to the back of it. It does not have to be crossed real tight, just wherever you feel good. Right hand reaches to the left side of the chair, pull back, nice and easy. Find spacing and distance that works for you. It could look totally different than mine. Our bodies do different things during the day. We move different ways. We have different injuries. So finding the same stretch could look a little bit different for everybody. Beautiful job. Roll that on back up. Nice and easy. Come to the back of your chair. If the back of your chair sits really high, you may want to turn it to the side. Inhale, take those arms all the way up. Exhale, let those hips bend back. Soft bend in those knees and ease yourself forward into a deeper forward fold. You have the chair here for support. And then very gently inhale, roll it all the way up, nice and easy. Take the chair to the left hand, draw this right foot up. We want it in between the knee and the ankle. You do not want to be pushing on a joint. Take this left hip point, push it forward, grow tall with the body, open this right leg, and take those right fingertips on up to the sky or out to the side wherever you would like you have your chair here to help with the balance. Swing this right leg over to the seat of the chair. You can let that left foot pivot forward, pull those right toes on up. Again, hips pull back as you ease this body forward. Nice stretch here for the whole back of the leg. If you need to keep a soft bend in the knee and ease out of the intensity of the stretch, that's okay. As long as it feels good and you're happy. Great job there. Release that one back up. And we'll go ahead and come to the left side of the chair. Same thing, right fingertips here. Draw this left leg up. Take this right hip point. Extend that forward soft bend in your right knee. Open this left leg, left fingertips. Reach on up wherever they feel good. Just a brief little bit of balance here for you. Hold those abs in. And then soften to release. Pivot on that right foot. Take those left toes on up to the sky. Rest on that heel. Pull the hips back as you soften this body forward. The stretch could be totally different on this side. That's normal. Either way, do your best to keep this kneecap pulled up, toes pulled up to prevent overstretching and straining those muscles. Soft bend in the right knee. Ease it forward. And then gently pull those hips back forward. Bend that left knee, take it back to the chair. Beautiful job here, we are just about done. Inhale, take those arms all the way up. Exhale, lean back to your chair, grab this right leg underneath. I, I don't recommend grabbing from the front, it can create a lot of pressure in the knee. Grab underneath and lift this right knee up and out towards the right shoulder. So not really tight into the chest. It can get uncomfortable pretty quick there. Very good option here for some ankle circles. Send those hips forward, cross it over. My favorite stretch 
for the deep hip muscles as well as the sciatica area. Inhale, draw the body up. And then exhale, no pushing with the hand. Just let this knee fall. Very good. If you have an open area here, if you look down, you kind of see a space where you can slide that left arm through. You can bend on down, interlace those fingers underneath. So my left arm just went through this little triangle. Deepening the stretch here for this right hip. Getting a little bit extra with the low back here. You can always just reach off to the sides too. Good, bring the body back up. Return that right leg down to the floor. Again, lean it back, send those hips forward. Grab gently onto this left leg up and out towards the right shoulder. Very good. Cross that one on over the right leg. Bring the body up tall, maybe scoot the hips back just a touch. Length and tall. And the same option here, you have a really good hip stretch going on right now. If you would like to include the low back, you can drop those hands down to the sides. Make sure that that right foot is pushing into the floor to give you a little counter weight and counter direction. Good, interlace those fingers if you would like. Inhale, bring that back up nice and easy. Slowly return that one down towards the floor. Gently tap those toes onto the floor and just curl them under just enough where you have a very light ankle stretch in the front here. If you have sensitive ankles, be very careful with this one. It might be something that you want to skip. Maybe it's not right for you. Very good. Take those feet here wherever they feel comfortable. Nice, good deep breath in. Exhale, relax to the back of your chair, taking this really good posture with you. Good deep breath in. And then exhale, let the body settle. Hands to the heart. Good deep breath in. Exhale to relax. On the next breath in, Inhale, grow tall, grow very proud. And then exhale with humility and appreciation for everyone that joined us for this great yoga practice. I always love doing these workouts with you. So thank you so much for watching and joining me today. I will have more workouts on the way for you. So make sure that you are subscribed so they're easy to find and that you don't miss a single workout. Until I see you guys again, take good care of yourselves. I will see you soon.